When you first hear that you've got cancer, it can be pretty jarring, as you might imagine. However, when we were, my, my wife Melanie and I were driving home, and um, I remember telling her that I, I said, you know, I'm, I know somehow that this is meant to change my life. It's not meant to end my life. He um, came in and obviously very worried, and he had, uh, you know, a very bad disease that spread in the peritoneum. Tumor invaded in the small bowel. Obviously, he saw the surgeons and our surgeon uh, who told him that this is not something that he can resect, uh, and so go get chemotherapy. I was very excited about um, being introduced to the clinical trial um, for a couple reasons. One of those was the fact I was concerned about um, moving to the next step in my therapy, which was the radiation therapy. I was concerned about the, the near-term impacts, but also really the long-term potential impacts. Um, and the clinical trial um, drugs, which are a combination of oral chemo and, and anti-inflammatory, were a great augment to the radiation therapy. As a nice side benefit, it's helped my, my hip and knee <laughs> be a little more comfortable. What this trial is encompasses is a really simple combination of two oral drugs. One is the chemo drug called Kipsatabine, the other drug is a Zotococcid, which is an arthritis medication. And then the, uh, what we noted, when you combine the two together, uh, the arthritis symptoms or the pain or, or the problems related to the drug is actually significantly reduced or delayed. The anti-inflammatory reduces the inflammation and allows the um, cancer stem cells to you know, be revealed. These chemotherapy agents that we give to our patients, in fact, all universally shown to activate these cancer stem cells. And they can spread, right? Because when you poke a bee nest, the first thing they do, they come out, right, to, to fight a battle. And then we also employ sometimes radiation to any leftover disease that we could target. And lo and behold, uh, about 40% of the patients uh, have gone into complete remission or near complete remissions. I am in clinical remission at this point. I do have some challenges with the, the chemo. I mean, it has side effects and that does impact me, but it's much more manageable than the previous therapies. The improvement in outcome is, is worth the effort. Uh, we could actually show that these drugs can kill these cancer cells as quickly as in 20 minutes in a petri dish. Whereas 5 of you would take 17 hours to kill. And so there is a huge difference in terms of how you kill the cancer cells. I think we have, as, as patients, um, there's a certain amount of responsibility to participate because there won't be, uh, without patients, it's hard to have a clinical trial. We don't need a lot. Um, and I think, uh, the cure is within reach. Already, you already have a group of patients that are, I consider cured. Because we saw the cure actually five years ago. I didn't believe myself of that. Now when I see the 10-year people that are cured that actually officially discharged from my clinic, I'm more convinced than anybody else that this is a group of patients that can really be delivering a cure. What I can tell the donors is thank you very much for your contributions. I want to thank uh, the uh, Gateway for sponsoring this very important, I uh, consider, landmark trial for patients with stage four colorectal cancer. You have made a significant impact in, in my life and I'm sure in the lives of many other people. There's been an enormous amount of research leads that are coming out of the current research and uh, through the genomics and others, uh, we are now finding a better way to combine smartly with some of the other medications in the future. More exciting than that is the potential impact uh, long-term in maybe millions of lives. So I want to thank again for the support and uh, hopefully we'll return to you many successful patients like Mr. Thompson in the future.